Do you notice that this argument would be exactly the same if we had separated people into two groups and one of them likes vegetables and the other doesn't like vegetables and then we do a study and we determine that the group of people who do not like vegetables, all of them have noses. And we conclude, therefore, that a nose makes you dislike vegetables. Well, maybe. But then again, what if all the people who like vegetables also have noses? What if noses don't have anything at all to do with anything? In order for noses to be meaningful, you got to know that it's only the ones who dislike the vegetables that have noses. And that's what answer choice E is pointing out. We've just assumed that the ones who did like vegetables did not have that gene. Because if they had that gene too, then that gene is absolutely meaningless to the question of who does or does not like vegetables.